Yeah, I mean, you know, one, one thing I, um, if, if coming from the evolutionary perspective, you know, from the theorists that have looked at culture from evolutionary psychology, like David Buss and Joe Heinrich and um, John Tooby, uh, they, talk, they talk a lot about culture being the expression of evolved psychological mechanisms and really looking at culture as not some sort of entity, as some thing that happens, but really the product of a bunch of psychologies operating together in some way. Um, and then create, and, and so sort of create, and, and a lot of those psychologies have built into them these fundamental, these, fun, these fundamental psychological phenomenon called biases. And one of those biases are biases for, you know, preferences for an in-group versus an out-group. And then that leads to people in different groups uh, expressing themselves in certain ways that are basically signals of in-group commitment or in-group membership. And so all these signals happen and then, you know, so, so it's, it's all, all, all these interesting phenomena are happening in a larger context that are basically, you know, on some level, you know, th thought of as adaptive psychologies are, of course, operating at all our levels of culture, including our organizations. So I think, you know, look, looking at it from that lens of like culture as a sort of entity, as a thing, right. as a collective action, and, and then also as, as this product of individual psychologies. I think you, you raise a very good point, which is, do we create culture or are we slaves to culture? Mm -hmm. Do we have a choice to belong to a culture or can we get out of a culture? Those are very interesting points with your evolved psychological association point. It is. Well, it's, 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 it's like, do we have the ability to transcend our own biases? Because in-group out-group biases is one of many biases, many mental heuristics that the mind sort of operates on and, and, uh, do we do we have the ability to transcend it? I don't I don't know. I mean, certainly research is showing that even despite our biases, there's ways of lowering prejudice, lowering outgroup anxiety, uh, increasing um, feelings of similarity, feelings of enjoy enjoying being around the company of people from quote unquote outgroups and that kind of thing. So I, I don't know that it's 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 possible to get past our biases, but certainly we can we can like each other despite of them, essentially. I, I mean, at least that's what it seems, that's what contact theory seems to say. Mm -hmm.